Alexander is one of the most famous authors in the world. He was born in December, December 11, 1918 and died in October 3, 2008. He was 90 when he died and he lived a very long life. He is best known for his work on Wilbert II and that book is the most famous book written by him. And he got mm. Nobel Peace Award as his life accomplishments. Even the Nusevich Shuku was a prisoner. He was sent to prison because he escaped to another country to avoid political disruption. However, compared to what he had done, mm. The punishment was too harsh and cruel. The prisoners at that time were not treated as humans. They were compelled to spend at least 25 years in prison, even though some of them were there for no reason. People <coughs> are working day and night to get their food, even in freezing weather. They are forced to work outside with harsh conditions. The quality of foods were so poor. However, people have to fight for these kinds of food because they're going to die without it. For example, they fought for a black bread and soup. They always fought each other for everything. Shirkov was one of the prisoners who were on the edge of starving to death. <coughs> Fortunately, he knew the way to survive in the prison. He knew how to socialize and help other people and get help from them. So he was able to survive in harsh conditions and in hospital environments. This book is about the Russian prisoners getting unfair treatment. The people were being too harsh on them. Usually, the prisoners were not in prison because they had done something horrible. They were there for some reasons. Prisoners should be ob obli obliged to do those punishments. It is okay to do some, but doing it too much is abuse. People have basic rights. I think it applies to every single person in the world. We should not treat them without respect just because they're living in a prison. <coughs> they might be kind and generous because some of them got there by misconception. The life in prison is devastating and has no future. In addition, there are a lot of corruptions. For example, the person who gives money and precious things will be treated <coughs> better and those who had nothing to give and who could not afford to drive had to work when they were seriously ill or sick. Namely, this book was generally about the people's rights being treated in prison. Supposing that I were the prisoner, I would have died in just a few years. It has shocked me that people in prison were treated no better than dogs. I thought it would be much better than that. It estimates that people who are even sick should be treated as a human being. Just because they have done things that were not suitable for them, it doesn't mean that they don't have feelings and some emotions. They're not animals, and we should treat them like they're equal in every aspect. Human beings are equal no matter what. Nice. Happens, and it is just prisoners that I am talking about. It is all the people who are not receiving their rights as a person. There are a lot of people on earth who are neglected. We need to make the world a suitable place for everyone. I came to realize that I should be thankful to have something to eat and sleep as they want. There are a lot of people who are not even permitted to live their life freely, although they are making desperate effort to live according to their own will. 
I think the privilege to do whatever I want is the most important thing compared to any other thing. In other words, we should all think that we are not living in a situation like that. This book enabled me to understand what is a dreadful life, which means that I am living in a life where there is no obstacle hindering me from doing what I want. I really enjoyed it because it taught me a very important lesson about what it is like to not have human rights.